Hi everyone, it's 2023, it's a new year and moving into the beginning of the year there's a few things that I always like to do as a little bit of a new year reset and throughout this video you're going to see a little bit of vlogging as well over a three or four day period but largely it's all about resetting for instance I can already see in the background one of the things that is going to be on that on the video and that is to declutter any little bits of holiday type decor that you have add out even as a minimalist and you may have had the odd item so that is going to be one of the things on my list and we're going to talk about to-do lists while we're at it because sometimes I may make a reset to-do list or a weekly to-do list you'll be seeing that a little bit more often now that I'm going to do occasionally some day in the life vlogs week in the life vlogs morning routines etc and I try to be as mindful as possible with my to-do list because I think depending on your personality type if you add too much to a to-do list it can be over facing but on the other hand there are those people that like to put every tiny little job so that they can feel like they're achieving more and that actually motivates them to do more I'm not like that, I would be over face. So there are some things like making the bed that I take as being part of my everyday routine anyway. I don't even leave my bed. I make my bed the second I get out of it so that it, so that it doesn't become an issue or something I have to add to a to-do list. And there are a few items like that as you will slowly perhaps get to know over this next part of my channel career life that I don't add little things that little things that could be done then and there as they occur or things that you do for the most part as part of a daily routine I'm not going to bother adding to my to-do list I'm also not going to bore you with adding elements of my own work life that I do to my to-do list obviously some of those things are private as well but I'm, I'm going to put on this to-do list things that are what I call snagging jobs, little things that you might forget if you don't add to the do list or even little nice things that I have wanted to try for my day because I am quite a creative person and some days or perhaps even most days with some of my free time I like to try and do something that I enjoy every day as well. It might be to attempt to make some new nougat or something like that and they will be coming up in the upcoming vlog vlogs but this is a uh, reset so one of the things that i like to do as you may be able to see on this list that i've included is i also like to go into the new year with a really big digital declutter when i'm making the youtube videos lots of files get added up back added on backed up and everything needs clearing out to not slow my computer down because believe it or not i don't believe in having everything on memory files because I just think at a later date, if I want to use that video, I will download it. And it's highly unlikely that I do really need to use it again. You know, I just think I've made that video, it's out there and I probably won't include it in something else later because I don't want to have loads of little memory cards sticking around. So also definitely on this list, uh, I've got a few things that I've been kind of waiting to, I don't know why, but I like the turnover of the new year to start fresh with. And one of those things, uh, I did get some pans to move into this apartment because we only had a large pan that we were gifted back. And ironically, as it may be, my partner decided that he wanted to keep the old pan because he was too worried about using the new pans. We'll see what happens there, whether he gains some confidence about new, using the new pans, but basically he's scared of spoiling the new pans. So I think ironically in an old video, I said, you don't, I don't think we would ever really need more than three pans. Now shared combined, we've got four pans because my partner wants to keep this old pan. But at some point in this video, I'm also going to be unboxing the new pans so that we can go into the new year with fresh new pans. And I think it's, just nice to acknowledge that turnover perhaps with something that is fresh a fresh home is one of them so at some point in the few over the next couple of weeks i'll be doing a full cleaning video as well and another one is making sure that all my plants are fully okay my potos which was dangling down in the background because it's currently on there um he's not too happy from the move he's got a little bit upset about it 
So you'll be seeing him get repotted in this video. That's another thing that I like to have a full check on. Another thing that I like to do is to make sure that anything that has been on my to-do list from before the change of the month, and in this case, the change of the year, doesn't carry on onto the next month. And I think that's the balance that I was talking about, about making sure that you can be productive but knowing when to rest, but also knowing when perhaps you may be procrastinating things. And sometimes, ironically, if a job is smaller, in my mind, I think, oh, it's, I can do that whenever, it's not as important. So then think things kind of get left by the wayside sometimes. And at the turn of the month, it's time for me to make sure that they are done. So I've got a few little just everyday chores on this list as well. And one of them is to check on our banking, things like that, mundane, mundane chores that we all have to do. And also I've been giving more thought to the under the bed storage situation. And in an ideal world, I would love for a second hand ottoman to come along. And like I've said in other videos, sometimes we're lucky enough in this area that people give away furniture. But I've been waiting and on the lookout for about two months now, a month just before we moved and a month now that we've lived here and none are becoming available. And for somebody who is really rather organized, it's becoming a bit too chaotic for me. So I'm thinking that in the meantime, I may accept um, a gift from our old household of obviously they're getting rid of their furniture as the house is sold. And the, they've offered to give me the drawers that we had in our old bedroom upstairs. So, I'm considering taking them and having them in our hallway as one long tall set rather than side by side as they do also stack and giving them a little bit of a facelift, painting them, doing them up a little bit myself to fit this decor. But I don't, like I've said in the home tour, I don't really like bulky furniture, but it could be something that we just have for a little while so the house is more organised whilst we still wait for this ottoman to appear because as you know i don't like actually paying for new furniture i would rather use second hand make it myself furniture flip it do it up but what i'm going to do today as well in this vlog is go to the little local kind of furniture second hand store i believe in other places we you kind of call that like a thrift store so I'm going to go to a little furniture shop store as well and show you that. Also a few other things that even aren't on the list that I end up doing whilst I'm out, perhaps nipping for a coffee. And also because we do not have a washer dryer yet, collecting my laundry. So you'll get to see a little bit of the local town. So those are a few things that I am doing for this reset. So let's get started and I, oh, I did actually start to vlog a little bit sooner this week because I went to go have my hair done but did not manage to do this kind of intro vlog before I went there so here's just a few little clips of me going to have my hair done. We're on my way to go get my hair done. It's actually a long time since I've had it done. I probably only go about once a year so here I go. One thing I like to do for the new year have a new lease of life into my hair. I only have my hair done about twice a year, sort of every six months. And I haven't actually coloured my hair for two years, but I did decide to have a couple of highlights just to give me even more of a little bit of a boost and a refresh for the new year. Let's go to the first part of call on the list. And throughout the video also, I'm just getting used to this new style myself as well. You'll see me perhaps adding little bits, vlogging, in other outfits obviously over these next few days of that I'm doing these things on this reset video so don't be surprised to see an outfit change or two and also even when I want to add a little bit extra some interjections as well on different days so I hope you enjoy this video and seeing a little bit around my town and where I live and what I like to do as a reset here we go with this reset so I'm just walking out now to go get a planter in our local town and I may grab a coffee with my mum while I'm out there so I'll catch you guys when I'm there and vlog a little bit of that as well. So here I did manage to find a plastic inner whilst also taking notes 
of what outer ones they had available but I wanted to have a look in TK Maxx as well as will follow shortly. I'm not a fan obviously of the inner being plastic but obviously that is what usually happens with planters and I did want my plant to be able to drain. everyone so despite what you've probably seen earlier on in the vlog of me going out and getting the planter going into TK Maxx and picking the planter pot itself I did end up coming back with one which you probably saw in one of the intro sections of the video but it does not really fit in it and I, I know it's going to annoy me it's sticking out so this is another thing I like to do as a minimalist if I have 
bought a product, sorry for all the noise outside, if I have bought a product and I know that I'm not going to be happy with it, I immediately take it back. So today we're going back to TK Maxx to swap the planter with probably perhaps something a bit like a basket because I know that that is just going to be too heavy as well up on our macrame hanging pot. So for now they've had to switch around as well. We've got the aloe vera up there because the potos is down here. Let me just switch the camera around. So I'm just back from the shop. I've not even taken my hat off yet. And let me just find this that I've got. So I went for a basket for the potos so that it is not too heavy for when I hang it back up there. So I'm gonna have another little switch around again and then I can tick that off on my little to-do list. So here we go. So one thing that I've decided we're going to do right away is take down the little bit of holiday decor that we have. And I'm getting distracted in the corner of my eye because I can see that. And that is actually my partner's new little backpack that he's got because he's just actually started Mountain Rescue. So yeah, he goes out and helps people in the local kind of moors and forests. So a, a lot of his equipment is currently hanging around that we're not used to having around, but it's going to have a home as of the weekend. So that'll feel a bit like a refresh as well. So let me get right to taking all the decor down. I say all the decor, it's probably four items, three Christmas cards that we got on the Christmas tree. So here we go. Christmas tree that I put in the back here and also I was going to just ask people out there does anybody else have a real problem keeping tea towels clean because even though we get these little microfiber cloths which are supposed to be just for wiping our surfaces and the tea towels are just supposed to be just for cleaning pots for some reason it is it's like is it one of those things in life that um to just not be able to keep tea towels clean because I see other vloggers and things on YouTube even other people that I know and they just seem to have this endless supply of clean immaculate tea towels but we never never can keep tea towels clean even when we try to say to ourselves that we'll use these little microfiber cloths to clean up and the reason I'm saying this is because they're just down here on this little shelf in front of the window that I'm going to be cleaning but we got these the other day because they were cheap because they're really the seasonal but we're just going to use them anyway and I'm just wondering to myself how long they'll actually last until they're kind of all stained and ruined but um yeah this is one little sale that we got and it was only one little sorry tea towel we got in a sale and it's only 50 pence <laughs> but it'll probably be absolutely ruined in a month's time and we'll have to just cut it up into rags and use it for I don't know, cleaning the floor or something. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to use one of the microfiber cloths, cloths now to clean what is left of the decor.
Also guys, I don't know how um, clean that actually looks on camera, but we are actually quite high up and the outside of the windows are not the cleanest. On the day that we moved in, I did try to do my best in the other room, which is a sash window, to kind of dangle out, but obviously in a safe way, without putting my life at risk and clean the windows, but there's only so far I can reach. So we're trying to get hold of somebody that can actually clean the outsides of the windows because I would love it for it to be completely clear and clean. So I'm just doing the best I can now. So there we go, all the Christmas decor is gone. Not sure where I'm going to store the little silver Christmas tree. Maybe I will give it back to my mum. Because I just never know what we're going to be doing this time next year. We may be travelling, we may be away. And we really do have limited storage in this apartment. We don't even currently have a place to put like our clothes and things. We just have the one little rail, which is enough for me, but not quite enough for my partner. So maybe my mum will store that for me. And if it, if it comes to it, I may even just sell it because it'll give somebody else the opportunity to have it. It was, I should have buy the 2020 rule, I think it was £20. So if it costs less than £20 and you can get it within less than 20 minutes, you could always rebuy it next year, especially if you get any money back for the item so you're not wasting money. And I think I did just, even though it says made in India, I think I did get it from TK Maxx. As, as will become ever, ever evident in these videos, I'm, it, this is a very small town that I live in and there is only about three actual kind of big stores um some are independents it's mainly coffee shops and knickknack shops things that you really don't use as a minimalist and yeah the three big main stores that are here are tk max which is obviously tj max in america there's a Max and Spencer's and is that it? We did have a Debenhams, but obviously all the Debenhams have just closed down and that, that is it for big stores. Oh, we have a Next. We have a Next Home and Next Clothing Shop, but I even think the Next Home is about to close down. So that's why I, even as a minimalist, unfortunately I do, when I need things, sometimes get things from Amazon because we just don't have a choice here. The nearest other city is quite a long drive away. So, Obviously, if you did want to think about carbon emissions, it's probably actually better for me to order things off Amazon in a one than me constantly driving backwards and forwards with my partner in his van, because I don't have a vehicle, um, to, to get them. So be that what it will. Anyway, let's get on with whatever's coming next in this vlog. <laughs> So I didn't actually do any more filming yesterday. I basically just came home after I'd had a coffee and got on with editing some of the video for this week because this week I've got a lot more footage than normal. So I knew that was going to be a lengthy process. So that was all I was doing yesterday once I got back. And now this morning throughout today, I'm going to take care of some of those last little things that you saw on this to-do list at the beginning. I'm probably going to work backwards perhaps up the list and that's what I usually do as well with to-do lists. I don't necessarily go in order, I go with the mood, what I feel I want to do something in. So the next thing that I'm probably going to do this morning is I'm going to do the digital declutter, removing all my files that I've clogged the computer up with, making all the YouTube videos so that it's doesn't get too backed up full of stuff and can run efficiently still. And then I do have some train issues to sort out because I do have 
a little holiday booked for me and my partner in February. That was my Christmas gift to him because we prefer to spend our money on experiences rather than stuff. But we have an issue in the UK, as some people may be aware, all our trains in our area are on strike. So I need to just check that we will actually still be able to get to the airport and what um, solutions we're going to have to come up with if that is not the case. So I'm just checking what tickets we have, what passes we have and what we can really do about it all. So that's another little issue that I'll be sorting out this morning. Some of these I won't vlog but I'm just letting you know what I'm going to be doing. Also on the list you think you saw some shelves. I'm not putting the shelves up. At some point I wanted my partner to put one shelf up extra in the bathroom because as a lot of you may be aware I don't really like too much stuff on the floor and we are a little bit short of storage space everywhere but particularly in the bathroom in this apartment so I would like one little shelf just to perhaps put a tiny little basket or hamper on for a few little things that are not quite fitting in places everywhere else and currently I've not even got my makeup in the bathroom because there's such limited space so I just kind of keep it in the bedroom and it's little in my little bag so that'd be nice to have a storage solution for that. A boring mundane thing, but some of my banking cards have expired and I've not been sent new ones. So just as life, we have to sort these problems out sometimes. So I need to ring and get a new cards sent. So really phone calls and computer today. Uh, but the one thing that I'm going to do that I thought was a little bit interesting, I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do an unboxing of the pans that I've been saving for the new year. And I would actually like to call them minimalist pans. They were listed as that on the page that I bought them from because they all stack inside each other and they only have one handle that clips between ones. So let me go get that and unbox that. And then we do actually, we did actually also have to buy a Hoover to move into this apartment as well. No Hoover provided, so I have got a Hoover to unbox as well. So let me just go get that for you. So let's have a look. I'm really actually looking forward to using these. So this is the handle. Kind of goes in between pans. What I actually really like about these is it means that we don't need oven dishes either because when the handle clips off, they can actually be casserole dishes and go in the oven. So, and they hardly take up any space, which is, sorry about that loud noise, which is definitely what we need in this very, very small apartment. And... with a lid what I actually like about this in terms of safety as well is um, when pans are on the hob I'm always paranoid about knocking them especially if you're in a small kitchen and you've got all your pans on the hob to cook something quite intricate but the pans are sticking out over the edge at least with this when you just switch in between pans you don't really have to worry about that happening because you can just literally then put it back down on the hob and have them all on each individual hob without the risk of knocking them off the side so yes yeah, so i thought these were very versatile that's why i'm calling them minimalist because they stack less wastage for the handles because you only have one of them on materials 
and they all stack inside each other and you can also have them as oven dishes. So that's them. Now let me go get the Hoover, which I was very reluctant to buy, but we need one. Who knows what I will do with it at the end of this year. Um, maybe is the one thing that I'll have to ask somebody to store for me or try and resell it, although I'm not too chuffed about doing that because I think that Hoovers are the one thing that never really make the money. You never really make your money back, I suppose, because they're an electrical item. People are worried about buying things secondhand. So we'll just have to get our use out of it this year. So unless I could perhaps, I don't know, give it to my mum at least so that somebody I know gets the benefit of it. Anyway, let me go get this. So now we have the Hoover. I may have to move you back in a moment so we can actually fit it all in because it is very, very large. Excuse my cup that I've been drinking and my loo roll because I still have a little bit of a cold. I think it might be this way around. So that is the unboxing. No doubt next time you see the hoover and the pans, it will be because they're in action in another vlog. And so let's go to whatever is next on my 
refresh and re so guys i just remembered the other thing on the list is that i do actually want to declutter this thing that i shouldn't have been invited back into my home and rather than keep them all together or try and sell them all together which is what i did last time which is why they didn't sell and i ended up gifting them to the previous household i'm going to break the set up a little bit and perhaps it will be easier to get rid of this time so i've made a decision and what i'm going to do is my mum actually has a green enamel set so i'm going to give her these two green enamel bowls so they're coming with me today and oh yes then what i decided was for the time being I am actually going to keep these two items because this shape is personally what I do really like, even in the bowls that we have in the kitchen. Something that is flat enough to have a plate, but also have a bowl. And what I've always liked about enamelware is that this also can be used as a pie dish or some kind of bake dish, which obviously we only have the pans for. So i'm already thinking if i've got those pans do i need these but because these are the thing that out of this whole set i like and think is most versatile i'm going to hang on to this bit just for a bit longer and then because they are i don't know if you can see yellow and gray i may keep the matching cups for them just because my partner and i do occasionally go camping and it would come in handy to have them just for when we do go camping so they're getting kept just for now and then that leaves me with these two enamel cups which don't match anything so what i've decided instead i thought these would be quite nice gifts and that is a very rare color i am going to make candles in these and then obviously when the candle has been used by whoever i usually whoever has a, a birthday coming next they can simply clean them out soak them out and use them for their cup so a kind of repurposed item that has two uses and now because i have the little label maker that we use for the household i can even personalize the candle or the cup so those two are only momentarily being saved until i know somebody who has a birthday coming up and then that's what we'll use them for and this perhaps is going to be sold as a set so these are little espresso cups i did used to use them for egg cups as well that's another good use for espresso cups they balance a boiled egg quite well and you can also use them for dips but we just found that we were using them less and less so i am going to try and sell all these as a set just because they all have the gray rim and if they don't sell as a set i will probably separate the bowls off and try and sell just the espresso cups and then sell these separately or maybe just gift these to somebody who i think would like them you could even do a big bowl candle in these really because sometimes you find the ones with three stems a bit like that one that i've been using that's got two that was my first time attempting to make a woodwick candle with that one so I could do something similar in them, but they're all going to be gone, except for the yellow and the grey, just plate and cup. So I have made a decision. So some of them things are going to be listed and sold separately this time. And I am going to put a stricter caveat on when they sell. One thing that I do, what I have done in the past is when I try and When I try and sell some things sometimes, I'm reluctant, if I know they have cost quite a lot, to let them go earlier. But they're just, especially in a room apartment this small, they just really can't be around that long. We've really got no storage space at all. So I think I need to set a very strict month guideline for when the ones I've said I'm selling need to be gone. And if they're not gone, perhaps I will make these all into little gifts as well. I could even do little mini candles in the espresso and gift them so 
just finding a nice way to kind of repurpose them if you are reluctant to just give them away i prefer to then give them to people that i know that would really like them and to even use them as gifts so that's that and next section of the video guys i thought i would show you what i've been doing for the remainder of this time that we have left to vlog because i'll have to edit shortly after this i got this morning i got a few of the other tasks done such is life again that i haven't unfortunately got round to putting the shelf up in the bathroom so that's one thing that can't be ticked off i realized that i did actually do the other item that i forgot to tick off so i'll tick that off now and this morning something came up i'm actually going to be dog sitting again so i actually prioritized doing another job that i haven't even added to the list yet and that was to bring these drawers because i couldn't actually find anything in the furniture secondhand furniture store so this morning i spent bringing these upstairs which is why i'm a little bit out of breath i also organized them with all the clothes that my partner had under the bed because he's a little puppy the dog that we dog sit and he will probably chew them so they needed to be out of the way and this is good for us as well so that even in the meantime that we perhaps wait for an ottoman we've got this set of drawers that helps just organize things at least they're at the end of the hallway out of the way so that's what i've been doing all morning um i've also managed to finish some of the other items on the list i've also managed to give this wall a second coat and a bit of a patch up but that is ultimately coming to the end of the vlog now because like i said i'm running out of time if you're interested in seeing how i organize the drawers I, that's something that i included in my patreon channel which is only three pound a month so give that a look and i will be painting these green i think giving them a little bit of a spruce up because a lot of the paint is chipping and sorry that i'm looking a bit disheveled today but i've been up and down the stairs constantly with all these drawers so i like i said i hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching and in future videos i will be doing things like a day in the life so you get to see more of a structure of what i do day to day or full weeks in the life whereas this has just been a few days for a reset finishing off little things that i don't really want to take over into the next month so thank you for watching bye